So interesting, isn't it? So who's been to Asia or Europe? Just get a raise of hands who's been to Asia or Europe. Fantastic, many of you. Some of you will have family in those countries. When traditionally do they eat their main meal of the day in those cultures and countries? Lunchtime, exactly in the middle of the day. Middle of the day when the sun is at its peak. Remember we said it's energy, dynamism, activity. Our internal sun, our digestive fire that cooks our food, is also at its peak. It's like this. Food comes in, gets digested, absorbed, assimilated, gives us energy and vitality because that's when we're at work, we're making our wealth and our health. What do we do? Ah, we're too busy with the clients, we've got to do the banking, get that proposal off, get home at 7 or 8 o'clock at night when the body's slowing down into its next cycle, getting ready for sleep. Our little digestive fire is also slowing down, getting ready to go to Leap. So what do we do? Eat. Eat. We've been working hard all day. Time to nourish ourselves. Steak and three veg, chicken parmigiana. Would you like something to do with that? It'd be rude not to. <laughs> Children starving in other countries. So we loosen the belt buckle, eat as much as we can. A couple of hours later, we roll off the table, go to bed. So for six or seven or eight hours, we sleep like a log. But for those six, seven or eight hours, all our body's resources are going here to try and digest the big, heavy dinner instead of going here, 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 here to get rid of the stress, to get rid of the fatigue, to detox the liver, to revitalize the cells, to rejuvenate the body, to have us bouncing out of bed with the birds feeling light, clear, energized and motivated for the new day. So instead we wake up with snooze buttonitis, bit of caffeine therapy, or we simply scowl at anyone who looks remotely happy before 10 o'clock in the morning. 